Hello and welcome to topic 6 in MATE 310 and 350 on polymer permeability. Polymer permeability involves three steps and is basically the phenomenon in which gases and liquids pass through a low packing efficiency polymer. If you put a gas on one side of a metal, in general the gas will diffuse into the metal but it will move very slowly according to the laws of diffusion. But in polymers, because the molecules are packed so much more inefficiently, the gas is better able to transfer through the polymer membrane. As I mentioned before, there's three steps involved in polymer permeability. The first is adsorption. In adsorption, the fluid molecules, or often the case gas molecules, adsorb to the surface of the polymer, which puts them in direct contact with the surface and able to diffuse into the polymer membrane. The second step is diffusion, where the gas molecules are transported across the polymer. And the third uh, step is desorption, where the polymer, where the, excuse me, the gas molecules are secreted from the polymer interface into a lower concentration. So just like in diffusion through metals, we have a region of high concentration on one side of the material and a region of low concentration on the other side of the material, and we'll have some sort of concentration gradient across the polymer membrane. Permeability has one primary assumption behind it that we have to keep in mind, and that is that the material is a homogeneous continuum that contains no cracks or channels that would allow transport of foreign materials. This is important to keep in mind because it's possible that um, oxidation or radiation damage has created cracks in the polymer which act as basically leak paths for the, CO2, the gas or the fluid to pass through the polymer membrane. It turns out that permeability is important in many applications, but one of the most important is in drug packaging. In this case, we have to prevent oxygen and water from permeating through the polymer and deteriorating the drugs inside so they can be stored for longer periods of time. This is called hermetically sealed food and drugs, and the polymer has to have high permeability resistance in order to prevent uh, in order to ensure long shelf lives of the, of the materials. Well, let's take a look at some permeability basics. The extent to which a substance can penetrate a polymer depends on the sorption S and the diffusion D. And we're going to convert diffusion into a new parameter called permeability. Sorption is the process by which the polymer adsorbs onto the surface of the material. And it can be basically thought of as the solubility of a permeating species as a function of pressure. So the concentration of the diffusing species that will be found at the surface of the polymer is equal to the sorption parameter times P, the pressure, where the concentration of the permeating species is measured in moles per cubic meter, and the sorption parameter is measured as moles per cubic meters times Pascal. The sorption parameter varies greatly. For helium, the sorption parameter is very low. It's only 5.4 uh, moles per cubic meter. But for CO2, the sorption parameter is as high as 201, or 40 times higher, moles per cubic meter. Keep in mind that the sorption parameter is not really constant. It actually varies as a function of a number of things, one of which is microstructure. Amorphous polymers are more, have lower packing efficiency than crystalline polymers. Therefore, the sorption parameter S is proportional to the volume fraction of the material that's amorphous times the sorption parameter for a 100% amorphous polymer. We also have to keep in mind that pressure will affect the sorption. In the previous equation, let's review, we said that sorption was constant as a function of pressure. But in this case, it turns out that the sorption is not constant with pressure. At low pressures, there's a probability that the, the molecules can escape from the surface of the polymer, or desorb. This means that there's a nonlinearity with sorption at very low pressures to the point where at zero pressure you would have zero sorption. We'll look at two different cases of polymer uh, permeability in the next part of topic six.